Welcome back to Tamaron's Tactics. This is AI War Fleet Command Gameplay Tutorial Part 5. I was just looking at this uh, base that we had constructed here, and you'll notice that they're working on the energy collector, but it's a little bit outside of the area of the force field, unfortunately. So I'm going to grab the force field and give it a move command. And so you can actually just kind of move the force field to the appropriate location, but they are a little bit slow. All right. So let's just get it covering that energy collector. There we are. That's good. Yeah, just stay right there. All right. So now that we've expanded into a second system right here, and now we have a bunch more neighbors that we haven't seen yet. All right. There's three adjacent systems to us. I'm going to pause it. And we also should just check out all, everything in this cluster just to see what's there. All right. So let's go ahead and go back to our home system. I'm going to grab all my scouts just by selecting them there, and I'm going to tell them all to go to Pabonmati along with my other scout that I don't need here, okay? In Pabonmati, we, we've got, we just built this military orbital command station, and if you look at the purple text there kind of towards the top on the right side, one of those traits that it has is that it gathers scout intel. You see that? That's the same thing as saying it's as good as having a scout ship in this system. So we don't need this scout ship out here. And now that all of our scouts are on the same same system, I'm going to grab them as a group, and I'm going to give them all a move order so that they're all clustered together real tightly in a little ball. Once they're clustered up really well, I'm going to go to the hit, I'm going to press tab to go to this main view here, and I'm going to give them all a move order to move to Ossau, right here. Okay, we can see them go through. The Ossau Gate, the, the Scout 2s are just a little bit faster. As soon as they come through, I'm going to pause it. All right. I'll grab them all again. And let's get them to move order right down here to Raoplu. That's going to take them through three more systems that we want to scout. Uh, the other one that we scouted was Jodre. There's a backup there. Again, we want to hack that. We don't want to actually take over that system until they can afford to do some hacking. So that's for later on. Looks like there's a bunch of asteroids there and a Starship Constructor 4. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to do an Alt 3 to make priority 3 here. Okay, we do want this system because we need that Starship Constructor 4 and I also want to, to hack that backup server, but we again, we need more hacking points in order to do that. And whenever you gain AI progress, you also gain hacking points in an equal number, okay? So we have to do more things against the computer before we get up enough hacking points to take advantage of that backup server, which is the same thing that's going on over here, is there's a backup server in Auhedger, and we don't want to go there yet because we don't have any hacking points, okay? So we're going to just mark that one. Both of those are priority three, all right? Let's get some more scouts set up. We need to scout these other three spots in this cluster. All right, I'm going to go back to my home world, and we can see we've already pumped them back out. I'll just unpause it for a moment here. There might be another one or two to come. No, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to select all eight of those scouts, and I'm just going to right-click here at the quad. And as soon as they arrive, I'll go ahead and draw the box back around them there. Looks like there's a force field generator, another captive settlement, a core shield D, a distribution node. There's a train station right there. Okay, so that's where those trains are going. An ion Mark III means that it's, it's a cannon that shoots like, and it'll instantly kill any Mark III or less ship. All right. Um, it's also got a whole bunch of laser and turret posts. That's a really nasty place. Like we have, this is a really nasty wall of stuff right here. Scouting is something that you must continue to do throughout the game. All throughout your, your AI War campaign, you're going to be continually scouting to try to figure out what is where, where the enemy ships are, where the important enemy facilities are. Scouting is so very, very important. And that's what we're really focusing on in this fifth video is how to scout out these areas. Okay. So now we know that there's an advanced research station right here. Okay, great. That's good. Uh, but this has a threatening eye. Whenever you see I, what that means is that there's a thing there that cannot be destroyed until you destroy all of the gun turrets on that system. You'll see there's a whole bunch of gun turrets on that system that are all Mark II, and all of our ships are only Mark I, so we probably couldn't go that way either. Okay, But there is an advanced research center there, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that as priority four, because eventually we'll want to take that. This one has a broken regen golem, so that's something that we would want. There's a data center. There's a Dyson sphere there. 
Oh boy. A Dyson Sphere means that if I were to go there and just destroy the enemy base there, okay, that it would free that Dyson Sphere, and that Dyson Sphere is like a civilization, okay, and they would start pumping out free ships every three or four seconds that would just go out and just fight the AI and they would be friendly towards us, okay? And if we connected our empire to that system, they would actually go out and patrol our system for us with a gradually increasing sized fleet, okay? So that's great. There's a, there's a fabricator there. Whoops. There's a fabricator there for a Mark V ship. There's another eye on eye. See, there's another eye. So this, this is completely off limits to us. Backup, another golem, fabricators, great things, too, too dangerous, okay? One more branch to explore. We've already got our eight scout drones rebuilt. We'll send them up this way. Whenever you lose a ship, really the cost of that ship is just a negative to your resource income for just a few seconds while it's automatically being rebuilt your home world there. Okay, so losing a ship is not a, not bad. It's not a big deal. If you lose 500 ships all at once, that's a big deal. If you lose 30, that's nothing. It's like, who cares? That'll take me 10 seconds to pump those ships back out. All right, so beyond the non nondescript planet, we have another fairly nondescript planet. Nothing really there, honestly. It's got some asteroids that are okay. And then up there, there's a data center, a fabricator, a factory four, an ion four and a parasite eye. All right. So now that we've scouted all of these very, very well, we have information about a good distance from every direction from our home world. So now we can assess from this what we should do next. Our choices are rough. Now, this is why it's hard when you're playing a 30 system galaxy, okay? Normally I would have 10 more systems to explore before I start running into the hard stuff, but everything's real close together because we're only playing with 30 planets, okay? So out of these, there's nothing really especially interesting up this top way, okay? Down this way, there's a factory four and a backup here that's barely defended. So we're gonna have to do that. Um, let's look at hacking. There's it's hacking progress cost of blah, 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 okay? One of those is the AI design, design corruption, and there's also an AI design downloader, okay? The AI design corruption, that would be us preventing the AI from building a certain type of ship. So it would be narrowing his options. And we do have enough hacking to do that right now. You can see that would cost 20, okay? And we have 30. So we're going to do that on this backup right here. This is going to become priority one. I'm going to hold Alt and press one and click on it, and that's going to be priority one. I'm going to also take the priority one off of this system that we've already captured by holding Alt and pressing one and then right clicking on it, and that'll get rid of the priority notification that we have. Okay, so we've got our next objective. We've done all of our scouting on half the galaxy all, all of a sudden. That's where we're going to close this video. Again, you're watching Tameron's Tactics. My name is Nuck Tameron. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the continuation of this gameplay tutorial series.